In this example, we need to simplify these three expressions here. Notice they all involve cube roots. So when you're simplifying cube roots, it's important to be familiar with the first few perfect cubes. So let's look at those. Here I have a table with x and x cubed of the first few perfect cubes. So kind of be familiar with it. It makes working on these examples a little easier. So if I look at the first example, the cube root of 64, I think this is a tricky one because 64 is a perfect square, but it's also a perfect cube. So be very careful with 64. As you can see over here in our table, 64 is 4 cubed. So remember, what do I mean by a cube root of 64? It's what number multiplied by itself 3 times gives me 64. And what's the answer? 4. So the cube root of 64 is 4. Double check it. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Now let's look at the cube root of negative 27. Now be careful, the square root of a negative number is not a real number, but the cube root of a negative number is a real number, and it's a negative number. So now I've taken care of the negative, then all we have to look at is what is the cube root of 27. Is 27 a perfect cube? Yes, it's 3 cubed. So what is the cube root of negative 27? It's going to be negative 3. Double check that. Negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Well, if I have three negatives multiplied together, it's a negative. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. Did I get it right? Yes. Looking at the last one, the cube root of 8 divided by 125. Well, this is just the cube root of 8 divided by the cube root of 125. So what is the cube root of 8? Is 8 a perfect cube? Yes, it's 2 cubes. So the cube root of 8 is 2 divided by the cube root of 125. 125 is also a perfect cube. It's 5 cubed. So the cube root of 125 is 5. So the answer to part C is 2 fifths. Double check. If you have 2 fifths times 2 fifths times 2 fifths, what do I get? 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8 over 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. Is that what I had originally? Yes. 